Do you know what? I don't. Do you know what? I don't know. I don't know. Tally. <laughs> I don't know. I think we've been watching Zach and Miri make a porno too much because I put on my underwear and I put on not my classiest underwear and I was like, granny panties. I was saying granny panties to myself when I put them on. Why don't you have your classy underwear on, Jen? This is the fucking rich. Nobody's game gonna list. see the underwear. Welcome back, part two of, I don't even know what the hell we're calling this list. <laughs> we're calling this, we got drunk and talked about consoles list. Well, one of us did. <laughs> I can still read, I'm still reading great. I'm enunciating like a fucking champ. I enunciate better than Tyson. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's what we. <laughs> you used to call me on the cell phone. <laughs> You used to come on the town farm. Don't make fun of Tyson. Dude. Get He'll the kick my shit ass. He'll send a tiger <laughs> after me. Tony, the tiger will show up my door and kick my ass. What are you talking about? He's got a tiger. He used to, anyways. But I like. That was in the movie. Gave it a fun cartoon. No, he actually owned a tiger for a while. What? Yes, it was the Joe Rogan podcast. He owned a tiger. All right, you've wasted three minutes of. Valuable talking about console time. Yep. Okay, here we go. Number 10, Sega Dreamcast. Does that say semen? <laughs> Sega Dreamcast semen X Men package. It's the semen model. Xmas. Uh, Xmas package. package console coming in at $2,000 plus. Had its release in Japan in 1999. Red colored console. It came packaged in a red box. And With the bow. <laughs> Shut up! It came packaged in a red box and bundled with matching red controller. I know you thought red panties. I know you did. And red VMU and semen game. <laughs> <laughs> Dream Passport 2. 850 of these variations were made. So what you're telling me is on Christmas, there was an X Miss package of semen <laughs> that was released on. It had yes. its, it had its release. 1999. So the semen package had its release on Christmas morning. Yes. <laughs> That's a good Christmas. Number nine, Cuphead Xbox One X. This is ridiculous. Three thousand dollars. Released in 2017. Don't deal with a devil edition. Only four were made. What? Four. That's bullshit. Custom painted with custom controller and box, given away to attending winners at a launch party in LA. I wasn't invited. You were making it. Big mess of I'm pretty sure I'm also the housekeeper, so shut up. Actually, I'm gonna make you clean them up. I'll get a little maid's outfit for you, it'll be awesome. Number eight, Beatles Rock Band Xbox 360, $3,600. I, I, anytime we play Beatles Rock Band, fans. I don't think we play Beatles, but I mean, there's a lot of Beatles fans I think out Dennis there. Dennis likes the Beatles, but not as much as the monkeys. Yeah. Why are we friends with him? Very few were made. Uh, made in September 2009. It was a hand painted console. Went for auction with proceeds going to Doctors Without Borders. Others given away in competition for anyone that bought All You Need Is Love on Xbox Live. Came with a limited edition Reckenbacher 325 controller. Why? Why couldn't the uh, the uh... Dreamcast, the x <laughs> the semen package. Why are we back on that? Why couldn't that have all you need is love? <laughs> Not even the same system! It's still, it's still funny. <laughs> Number seven. This is ridiculous. A 24K gold dipped PS3. Carrot. 24K, 24 carat, whatever. $5,000 plus. Only five units were made. Yes, I, they ran out of gold. I am looking for a PS. You're not getting one of those. It was a slim version, was literally dipped in 24 karat gold. 
You could also get the logo customized in chrome, black chrome, 24 karat gold, white gold, rose gold, or platinum, released in 2009. Limited lifetime? Yes. <laughs> you know that's getting the yellow ring. I've never heard of this next console, but you know, it's a good thing I have a Dreamcast now. No, you're not getting one of these. What? Number six, Mazora Dreamcast. Mazora, Mazora. It's almost like I'm chanting there. How long are we doing this? Until you have an epiphany. <laughs> Okay, anyway, six, you're done, you're done. $6,000, only 500 were made, produced for namesake Japanese car and bike company. Oh. Oh, okay. Official color was green, but it actually color changed. Like, oh. like those dinky cars we had when we were kids. They're Hot Wheels. They yeah. They're called dinky cars. Anyways, Pervert. came with a helmet keychain. Oh yeah, everybody was in for the helmet keychain. Sticker and Dream Passport released in January 2009. Uh, Why'd you have to say dinky? Because we called them dinky cars. I'm sorry. That's not, no. No, no, This is 2020, no. we don't call And them I'm dinkies. not gonna call it a stuffy either. It's, it's a, a teddy bear. It's also a dinky car. I don't care. If I offend the <laughs> snowflakes, Melt away. Melt. Just melt. Brett, look what you've done. I'm melting. Melting. Oh, what a world. What a world. Who would have thought a good little girl like you could destroy my beautiful wickedness? Ah, the mouse. The mouse. So offended right now. I am triggered. Triggered. You only I care about the snowflakes because you're the color of a snowflake. It's not my fault. I didn't make you snowflake colored. Number five, 10 million model PS1 coming in at $7,500. I love PS1. I know you do, but you don't love it $7,500 worth. But do you love No, it? no, <laughs> no. Released in 1997 to celebrate 10 million console sold. 100 of these variations were made. Only noticeable difference from the original was super dark shade of blue with controller. So it was like a very, very dark midnight blue. Also came with a memory card. Uh, uh, oh, I feel better now. Glad one of us does. Mm -mm. No. Number four, Shadow of the Tomb Raider for Xbox One X, $8,300. And they just made one. What? Sold on eBay by Microsoft to raise money for charity Best Friends as part of National Dog Day came with game and similarly designed Tomb Raider controller. It was auctioned September 5th, 2018. Hey. All I thought it's, was Angelina Jolie oh, and Tomb shut Raider. Shut up, shut up. It's, it looks super cool though. Can we just oh, agree that like the design on it is very cool. It's a cool design. It is. Um, if I owned it, it would have to be a shelf piece because I would be afraid that it would conk it at some point. I would be afraid of that too, but it's really, really <laughs> cool. I would never. In staying with the same theme, Laura Croft at number three, gem studded Xbox 360, a whopping $11,000. Made to replicate game cover art was embedded with over 40,000 Swartzky crystals. Only a handful were made and it was released and sold in July 2009. I could have swore you said hand fill. Did you say I had. We finished. We're finishing. You a haven't bottle. even drank a full glass of wine. Yet. We're finishing a bottle of wine. I am sharing a little bit of my bottle of wine with her, basically. Would you? Would you give this console a hand fill? <laughs> 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 done in, no, done in 60 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're down to our last two. And um, I think this might be my favorite because what I really because I really love rose gold. And it's a rose I love gold. gold. No, that's the wrong guy. Sorry. 
<laughs> you suck. It's the same guy, but it's a different character. Rose Gold Xbox One PS4, also $13,000 plus. Create it. Gajillion, Fifillion, Shabadooly, Million, Shawnee, Commonishly, Million, Yen. Exactly. Created by Italian jeweler Gaudi Luxury Labs, each console contained more than 220 grams or 9 carats of gold. PS4 contained 6 grams more than Xbox sold at Jumbo Electronics, released in September 2014. PlayStation just out doing the Xbox just by a little just bit. Just constantly, just by a little bit. I see a trend. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one I want. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So, we're on our last one. We gotta chug our wine. No, we're we fucking gotta chug, not. Chug we're our not wine. fucking doing that. Stop this. the language, beep that out. This we're is for not. Kids. This is not for kids. <laughs> this is not for kids. I am not chugging that. Chug a lug. I'm not chug. doing it. I'm not chug doing it. it. Chug it. I can't do it. Chug it. Do you want me to die? Take a hand fill. Chug it. <laughs> <laughs> Do it, let's do it. Like, let's do it. Let's do it. Do it now. I'm not chugging let's do it. Do it now. Now I can chug it. Corona. You are such a I, pansy. I can't chug that unless you you're chugging that? It's only wine. It's only your liver. Oh my liver gave up years ago. <laughs> I could totally chug this. Cheers to the top console while on this we're, list. While we're chugging this, take your best guess. We have run the gamut of all the consoles. What do you think is number one? I personally love this. Okay. So, Ready? Go. Go. Oh, fuck. You're going to die. <laughs> do it. Do it now. I didn't chug that. <laughs> no, I'll chug it. Because I feel. It hit me in the soul. You don't have a soul. Oh, I know. I just, the idea, the, the sound of you ah. chugging that. Oh my god, I can't And that's it. how it's done. That's how you do it. My tummy's my you throw caution to the wind and. Liver away. <laughs> Let's see how she enunciates this last one. Okay, coming in at number one, Nintendo Wii Supreme, four hundred thousand three hundred and thirty. I can't do this. Four hundred three hundred. How about new? One million <laughs> bajillion gazillion dollars. <laughs> four hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Four hundred and thirty-three thousand dollars! <laughs> I think you're bluffing. The most expensive console ever made. Well, sweet Jesus, I hope so. 2.5 kilograms of, of 22 karat gold. Why are there so many numbers in this? Front buttons encrusted in 78 flawless diamonds. Only three were made, and it was released in 2009. It was made by Stuart Hughes, took six months to make, who also made PS3 Supreme, which came in at $331,500. You know what I would do if I, if I uh, were lucky enough to get one of these? I would mod it and, <laughs> and piss Nintendo off immensely. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Put the entire library of Nintendo, Super Nintendo, I just fill it, fill it full of ROMs and piss them right off. No, I wouldn't do that, Nintendo, I love you. <laughs> You're my best friend. <laughs> don't cancel us. They right. don't, they don't own YouTube. They wills. They wills? They wills. Was it F? <laughs> yes. So that was our list. We've reached the end. Oh. So. I wonder what high-priced collectible consoles will come in the next generation.
have a John Wick PS4. Or, no, PS5 John Wick. That would be so cool. And then, then they're going to have a game, John Wick game. Tell me no, that wouldn't be cool. No, no, no. Bill and Ted's Bill PS5. Ted's, yeah, I mean, it'd be like... You know what'd be cooler? What? If the Xbox Series X, because it looks like a phone booth. <laughs> that would be so cool. Yeah. It is. It is phone booth shaped. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. 100%. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time, and bye. No, game on.